Lucy. Welcome back to Positively Port St. Lucy. I'm Sarah Prohaska, Communications Manager here at the City of Port St. Lucy. My first guests today on our show, I'm very excited to welcome Lynette Morafa and Dana Trabolsi of the Treasure Coast Business Summit, which is coming up right here at the Port St. Lucy Civic Center on May 17th. So I'd like to welcome both of you. Welcome, ladies. I'm really excited to have you on today. Aww. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Right. We're so pleased to be here. The Business Summit is a very, an excellent event. It's in what what year are we on now? So we're in the 10th anniversary. All right. It's a big year for the Business Summit. And it's a great event that you, um, that you hold every year, usually at the Civic Center. And it's um, a business-to-business -business event, great networking opportunities. So if you wouldn't mind just giving us a brief overview of what, what's going to be happening this year. Sure. So mm -hmm. we are in our 10th anniversary. We have mm -hmm. a lot of exciting and interesting things happening for the business community. So we want all of our business community members to come to the event and enjoy what we have planned. The 10th anniversary, so uh, as you know, the, uh, 2008 was a bit of a different year for mm -hmm. everyone here. Um, not only in South Florida, but across the nation. And so we're celebrating 10 years of growth and success. Yes. And so um, we have a beautiful keynote speaker, very interesting that Dana's gonna talk about in just a little bit. Um, but you could visit tcbizsummit.com for more information, for tickets and some vendor booth opportunities. But we're really excited to introduce to you our business, our keynote speaker. All right, Dana, so now I'm excited. Who is this? Last year, I just wanted, before you tell us about this year's, last year's was excellent. You had you. from Chick-fil-A, Jeff Manley, and he was, and I've actually heard, um, the mayor say that he is one of the best speakers that he's heard at the Civic Center. So it's going to be hard to top that. <laughs> so, but I am. I think. I think you may have done it. So uh, who who do we have this year? I agree. I think <laughs> Jeff was one of the greatest yeah. speakers that I've heard, and I think we're going to. I think we're going to top it this year. And I hope Jeff's not watching, but it's okay. <laughs> um, this year we're going to have Peter W. Bush who is a descendant from the Anheuser-Busch family. Mm -hmm. He is the owner of Southern Eagle Distributing, who has just celebrated their 34th year on, this, on the Treasure Coast. Okay. And he will be speaking about his journey through the life of Anheuser-Busch and how we really are celebrating businesses, but even small businesses and how everything starts small. And mm -hmm. Anheuser-Busch started as um, two families getting together brewing beer yeah. so if you have a great plan and you work it hard and faith and determination anything can happen wonderful so to the keynote speaker when when that falls toward the middle of the day how, when when when, the, when would that be when would that so the agenda looks uh, the doors open at 10 a.m. for okay. the general public which will um, hopefully get everybody in very quickly okay. we always do okay um, and then of course uh, Felicia Rodriguez from oh. WPBF mm -hmm. will be the uh, mistress of ceremony she'll oh, be opening perfect. everything up mm -hmm. Mayor Orvec will come on and welcome mm -hmm. everyone mm -hmm. and then of course Peter Bush will tell us about his life experiences inspirational stories and all the wonderful things about how his business has celebrated success through the years okay wonderful so that and then um, you have a lunch correct um, we, part of the day <laughs> yeah we do actually so the uh, st. Lucie County Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. and the city have partnered with the Treasure Coast Business Summit this year to produce their annual update luncheon mm -hmm. and so it's a separate ticketed item we know it's going to sell out it's always wildly highly popular mm -hmm. um, in the business community because we get so much information about what's going on what's developing mm -hmm. what's to come um, and so we know that that's going to sell out quickly it is a buffet lunch it's going to be a beautiful mm -hmm. highly informative lunch Lunch. Yeah, I know um, city manager Russ Blackburn will be there and he will he'll hit all the highlights of where we are right now as a city and especially geared toward the business community. Yes, um, we're, we're I mean their growth right now is phenomenal in the city, especially if you go out west to, uh, to the tradition area. There's a lot happening with the Crosstown Bridge right now mm -hmm. that hopefully will when that's done next year or in the fall of 2019 yep. um, open up some more economic development opportunities at the eastern side of the city connecting it to 95 much easier so there is a lot going on and I'm he'll, he's excited to share it at at this great event and it's usually on a 
on its own. So this is wonderful that you're incorporating that into the business summit. Yeah, we do want to thank the city of Port St. Mm -hmm. Lucie for not only endorsing the Treasure Coast Business Summit annually, mm -hmm. but um, also for our city manager, Russ Blackburn, mm -hmm. for coming in and really just elevating the atmosphere during the luncheon hour by providing this high level update. All right. Well, thank you. So uh, breakout sessions, we have breakout sessions too happening for our businesses? We, we do. do. Okay. We have several breakout sessions in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. We've partnered with the EDC and they have brought in some great speakers. So they will be bringing in We Venture, which is um, a women's organization really geared towards elevating the um, advancement of women in business. Okay, they're, interesting. I know, I'm yeah. so excited about mm -hmm. them. I've heard them speak once before and they're very powerful. Also, the business development section of Florida Power and Light, which I've heard speak before as well and I had no idea they had a whole business side that. Um, business owners could use as resources. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, the SBDC, which is Small Business mm -hmm. Development, mm -hmm. um, we're very excited to have them come in because there are so many resources there, again, are available to um, small and large businesses that people don't take advantage of and they need to know Or they about. might not even know about. So yes. I'm sure this could be a learning opportunity. You never know. You, by attending these, sometimes you learn about some of these resources out there that could really help a business, but they just don't know that it's there. Mm -hmm. It's true, and there. If mm -hmm. you look at the uh, the tax licenses, the city oh. is growing. Businesses yeah. are coming to Port St. Lucie. Mm -hmm. They're coming to the Treasure Coast, and this is the perfect opportunity for them to go knee deep in right away and know what's going on. And especially small businesses, because mm -hmm. Port St. Lucie does have a very strong, solid foundation of small businesses. This is a perfect event for them because it is. You know, you may go learn a little bit listen to, to Peter W. Bush, but also he, get some information about the local, what's available to you right right here in your own city. True. We really mm -hmm. feel like people are going to leave the business summit this year inspired mm -hmm. because it's the 10th annual summit. Our area has come so far in 10 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. They're going to be inspired with a great keynote speaker, the business, the business connections that they're going to make on the floor the day of, yep. and then knowing that there's resources available to them that are mostly free exactly exactly and when you said 10 years and when you when you said 2008 it didn't really hit me but 2008 was a rough year mm -hmm. for a lot of businesses that was really at the height of the great recession and the city was a much different place back then um, it's incredible to think how far we've come in 10 years and that, that we're on an upward momentum now such positive growth we're seeing especially in the business community um, so yeah, it is. It, it's a great. It's a great way to look back and see how far we've come. It is, and yeah. so we do have um, some vendor vendor booths that are still mm -hmm. available. So okay. if they're interested, um, definitely go to our social media Treasure mm -hmm. Coast Business Summit on social media, um, as well as TC Biz Summit. So tcbizsummit.com. Um, and there you'll find some information about contacting either Dana or I. Mm -hmm. There's an agenda there. There's all the forms, sponsorship, vendorship, um, everything that we have going on for the business summit and also to attend tickets. Yep, exactly. Absolutely. I was about to say tickets. Um, so if people are listening out there, business owners who want to bring them and their staffs, staffs, uh, staff members, I should say. <laughs> um, that's where you have to go to your website, right? Absolutely. Okay. All right. So before we leave, I do want to ask you about one other thing. At this business summit, you have a very special award you give out, which I think is just really a cool award because it focuses on a, a woman. Um, you're looking for a female trail, it's your trailblazer award, right? It is. So tell us a little bit about that because people can still apply if they know of somebody, correct? They do. So this okay. award is sponsored by uh, Post Insurance and Financial, okay. Kathy Post, who is a trailblazer in herself. Mm -hmm. in, in, in herself. Um, and also it's championed by Mindy Fetterman of the In Your Truth Project. Mm -hmm. So she's partnered with us and um, few years back we were looking to celebrate women in some fashion and so the Trailblazer Award was born mm -hmm. and so there'll be four recipients one from each county oh wow um, okay and it can be any type of woman it could mm -hmm. be a businesswoman it could mm -hmm. be someone that's invented something just someone who's paved the way broken the glass ceiling mm -hmm. um, and and has lit a path for others to follow mm -hmm. intensely and oh, that's so great one thing that we want to mention mm -hmm. about the Trailblazer Award is this isn't just an award we're gonna a hand and then walk away. Mm -hmm. We want to cultivate the Trailblazer Award into a mentorship for up-and-coming oh, wow. women in our business community. Okay, great. So that they will have a resource 
and a portfolio of women, if you will, that they can reach out to at any time for guidance. That, so who won last year? Last Was last year the first year you did this? So who was the first winner last year? Last Winners. year, because we're giving an award out, one for each county, uh -huh. so Martin, St. Lucie, Indian River, and Okeechobee, mm -hmm. last year we had Gail Cavanaugh, um, who had recently passed away, and she was the head of the Treasure Coast Biz um, Treasure Coast Builders Association oh, okay. for over yeah. 30 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. um, Jane Rowley, oh, we, who we very all well are very Jane. fond uh -huh. of Jane. Yes. Um, Kelly Owen, uh, commissioner from Okeechobee. Okay. Rachel Terlizzi from Martin Health, um, oh, okay. now United Way. Okay. Um, Kathy Post and Sergeant Suzanne Woodward of the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Department. Okay, perfect. So we All had right. some really amazing women for our first year. Okay, yep, so hopefully we'll get um, several more to join that, that, that great list that you have going. Yeah, the other thing we wanna to mention too is Dyer Chevrolet is giving out their um, Dyer Difference Award okay. at the summit. And so that's an exciting feature as well to celebrate all the good things that happen here in this community. So during the day, we'll have the Dyer Difference Award. And then of course, at the cocktail hour, the Trailblazer Award will be a phenomenal, a phenomenal celebration of, of women who are doing wonderful, incredible, just blazing things in our community. And speaking right. of wonderful women, Rebecca Jocks, who is the recent Youth of the Year recipient oh, yes. from the Boys and Girls mm -hmm. Club, will be speaking just before the cocktail hour as well, so she can get a little bit of experience speaking before she goes to state. I just heard her speak at the EDC luncheon the other day, and she blew the whole room away. Yeah, she's awesome. So that's, that's a great great little um, place for her. Uh, some great, more good experience for yeah. her. And just to listen to her she's very inspiring she, she is. is yeah so we have an action-packed day uh -huh. planned for our community and we're really excited to share all the wonderful things that we have planned so we're encouraging everyone to get their tickets tcbizsummit.com go to the website get your tickets if you're interested in exhibiting your business there are opportunities still available limited opportunities and now's the time to push the button on that all right well thank you both so much for coming on we really appreciate you taking the time thank you to, uh, to share share this information with and with the, the city and we uh we look forward to it it'll be an exciting day on may 17th at the port st lucie civic center so we will be right back after these messages <laughs>